Yes, yes, I know you're thinking, Elton, what are you doing filming the scrap? I gotta admit, as much as it's scrap, the front part of these buses and only these LFSs are actually decent because they have a beefed up suspension. They probably have two airbags a wheel compared to the regular scrap, which only has one a wheel. That's what the reason why the fucking ride is so shite. And I like to get vehicles when they're turning and I like big vehicles. Yada, yada, yada. That guy's gonna finish his route right now at station, at, uh, at uh, Metro Joliet and then start up again and head back up northbound, northbound on Saint Michel. Now this was the beacon right here where I started the video. Actually, it wasn't because of the scrap, it was this right here. I thought this was really cool. This is a hair salon. Coiffeur is, you know, hairstylist, hair salon, and it's got that nice big fucking pair of scissors. Pretty neat. And for those of you who like hybrid scrap, of course I hate them, especially nowadays. I hope I don't have to take one. L knock on wood, I've, I haven't had to take one, but I mean... Fucking goddamn windows don't open, for crying out loud. The windows don't open. So all you get is recirculated air and we're in a fucking pandemic. So let me tell you something. Basically, wherever I go, I'm never in a hurry. Right nowadays, I'm stuck in this area. So if I take a bus or a metro, it's usually 5 minutes, 10 max. Maybe 15. Not really though, but... Anyway, I want to be in a bus where all the goddamn windows can open or are open. Dig it. Anyway, that being said, uh, well, I might as well make a walking video here. I'm not sure if I'm going to do this here on the Hoshalaga Boulevard, here in the Hoshalaga District. Or, am I going to fucking veer off here maybe on Nicolet or the next street perhaps? And I just smell something with meat. Ah, you see this? These are the most corrosive North American made vehicles of that era. 2002, 3, 4, 5. Holy fuck, those things, they rust like there's no tomorrow. Incredible. Incredible. Another thing that possessed me actually to make this video is there's some nice looking clouds with the uh, sun starting to set. Came out for a little while there before. Uh, today being um, March 5th. March 5th, the 20 mars. Uh, what the fuck am I talking about? What am I talking about? I'm sorry, I might have smoked something. <laughs> of course, the parks are empty. You can't go in a park. Can't go here, can't go there. I'm lucky I can get out, for Christ's sake. Just like those people sitting in the, on the bench there because uh, of the pandemic. COVID-19, it's, uh, uh, you know, everything happens for a reason. I mean, really. Seriously. I think it's something that's happened to make us appreciate the little things, you know, like going shopping and going to buy food and having food and getting together with people. I haven't gotten together with friends or family in, in fucking... God, what, almost three weeks now? Wow, look at that cloud. Look at the lift on that. It looks almost like a fucking tornado is going to form. I love it. Yeah, baby, the sign of spring. When you see these types of clouds. You hear that? That's the most useless and annoying invention ever made. Big time. Beep. You think anybody's going to hear that and go, Oh my God, call the authorities. There's a car being st stolen. Useless. I can't wait till the leaves start to bloom, though, in a few weeks, a couple weeks, three weeks, I don't remember. You know, that'll be sweet. You know? Oh, yeah, I guess this is Parc Valois, eh? The Parc Valois, là. No, it's Avenue Valois, which rubs, runs up there and also runs down that way. And this fucking kind of ominous sky, oddly enough, reminds me of one of my favorite all-time movies, which totally is related to what's happening right now, is the movie The Stand. Stephen King and the beginning of the movie starts with a sky like that you know you can see it's sort of like kind of wonky clear there in the distance but then it's just it's a cloud over it looks like it could be a thunderstorm or rain or you know what I'm saying then of course uh, you hear blue oyster call starting you know all our time has come yeah, but now we're done. Our seasons don't feel the reaper. Or through the wind, or the sun, or the rain. We can be like they are. Come on, baby, don't feel the reaper. We'll be able to fly. Holy fuck, if I had a dollar for every time I heard that song, I'd probably have, oh, yeah, 250, 300 dollars. No, no, no. Yeah. Whew. Of course, if you guys you uh, know us SNL Saturday Night Live, oh yeah, man. 
You know Saturday Night Live. They did a, a skit one time at a recording studio with Christopher Lloyd and the, oh snap, there's an ambulance responding. Yeah, man. Anyway, Christopher Lloyd would say, needs more cowbell. Once again, no siren. Not that it was needed. Heading westbound on Hushalaga Boulevard, Boulevard Hushalaga. Yeah. Well, I'm actually, uh, I almost stopped recording that uh, because uh, I wanted to get that separate because I, for those of you who aren't familiar with my videos, I film the most facets of transportation, so uh, I'm going to put that with the other clip I filmed yesterday, oddly enough, again, not, no siren. Lo always loved, uh, what do you call this, these pieces of glass all together? This is like a 40s, 50s thing. It's so cool. I love that. I mean, seriously, you got to wonder, what was here back in the day? It was definitely a business. Look at this. Now it's somebody's fucking place. How's that for an entrance? That's awesome. I got a feeling that kind of glass is very valuable, too. I mean, that's a lot of work to put all that together, no? Vraiment, là? Yeah, and now we are at the street that I love to pronounce the name because it rolls off the tongue. Have you guessed what it is yet? Bourbonnière. Bourbonnière. And I think we're going to go down Bourbonnière actually because I don't feel like going all the way to PNF. And uh, I didn't want to go that long out because yesterday I walked a long time. Yeah. So we're going to float on south. I got to remember to stop at my friendly Chinese uh, own dipper there. Nice ladies working there. Even their kid is practically working there. He's like fucking uh, five or whatever. Chrysler 300, circa 2005 and up. Enough said. Yeah. Some of you might say they're junk. But to a lot of people like me, that is gold. I rode in them. They're a fantastic ride. Smooth. I rode in two of them, actually. Shit, I remember even years ago, I took one home late night. It was a... Uh, it was a, it was a, was a, was a, was a, was a, it was a taxi. Yeah, the rainbows are supposed to be some sort of symbol of togetherness through this crap. I don't know. It's, I don't know, it reminds me of the, the gay colors or something, no? Hey, that reminds me, looking at this tree, there is, no joke, on my street, somewhere, I haven't been able to find them, looking through my window at the camera, even zoomed in. Hey, look at this, it's a fucking beetle with polka dots, that's... Different, eh? Oh, I get it, I get it. Looks more like a beetle, like a coccinelle. Right, right, I get it. That's cool. Yeah, check that out. What does it say? It says uh, label. Label. Coccinelle. Yeah, coccinelle, which is beetle. That's clever. That's clever. Yeah, that's smart. I don't mind giving them a plug. What the hell was I talking about now? Tabarnak. <laughs> I totally forgot what the hell I was talking about. Shit. Do thing. Uh, oh well, that's me, Ultimate Fall, easily distracted. Retro old school at your uh, at your entertaining service. Look at that, eh? When it's all gonna come together quick, right? To stay on the road, to be illegal. I know. I was thinking, uh, don't fear the Reaper before there. Fucking boring cars. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's it. Maybe I'll just give my lips. See if I can stop talking for a minute. I can do it. Watch.
was probably about a minute, right? It's not like I was fucking counting the seconds or anything, you know what I'm saying? Shit. Look at this, eh? This looks like a fuck. Eh, never mind, forget about it. Not gonna bother. Why bother? Let me give you a quote from, uh, from a uh, movie from 1993, the movie Grumpy Old Men. See if you know this movie, you'll laugh when I say this. Does she have really big thighs? No. Then what's the bother? <laughs> that cracks me up. That was Jack Lemmon and Walter Matho. Yeah. Grumpy old men. They did a sequel to it. Uh, it was good. It was all right. Run! Yeah, the sun wants to stay out. It's supposed to be beautiful tomorrow. I think tomorrow I'm going to get the lead out there and get the, uh, get the, the old bike out there, the old vintage bike there. When I say the old bike, vintage bike, I mean, I don't know. It'd probably be the Schwinn, but... Uh, I feel like getting the roll fast out, but I seem to have forgotten, having not ridden it in so many months, that there's uh, uh, probably a couple of things wrong with it that I can't remember. Bourbonnière de Rouen. Avec des pancartes qui sont pas vieilles pantoutes. These signs were changed, they look brand new. They're so clean, so fresh and so clean. Fucking boring cars, tabarnak. The call is a stitzel. tabarnak. Up to this. And I'm so old school, I'm so obsessed with these gas guzzling, earth killing American vehicles specifically, that I would take that rusted out early 80s GMC over that instead. Or, sorry, it might be, not be early 80s. It could actually be late 80s, 1990 even. Because, uh, the trim and all that, the hubcaps are late 80s, 89, 90, but the grill could have been changed. It could be older, so. Who's to say? What's the bother? Now, as I'm filming, I'm going to continue wonder what the hell, where the hell am I going? Uh, oh, we might as well go one more block. There's a, there's a garage up there. Let's go see what the fuck is there. I've seen some old cars there before. On va regarder ça, là. It reminds me of my uh, aunt and uncle my uncle Maurice, my Aunt Lucy, uh, they had a Malibu exactly like that. Oddly enough, I think when it replaced their 84 Celebrity, it also was sold to a taxi driver. Go figure. And my uncle, he told me, before he died, I remember, he says that his 84 Celebrity, which was rare to have the hubcaps that it did, or even the color, that that car, it never rusted. And I think that the taxi driver he saw when he bought that car off him sometime later he told him the same thing. I, uh, it's weird, it might have had some sort of, I don't know. Sometimes, you know, sometimes there are certain cars that are made and they're special order, meaning special color that's not offered usually, special features, special motors. And then there's stuff like that, you know, I've never really heard of about like a car that doesn't rust, you know. So, hey, le soleil est sorti là. The sun is out for now. We gotta enjoy it a bit. Holy cow, it wasn't long ago. This was a fucking garage. Look at this. It's already a fucking, uh, it's already, uh, well, I, I don't know if it's a condo. It's, looks like low income housing, or as we say in French, an HLM. And now we are at La Rue. La Rue Orléans. Or, if you will, Orleans. Like New Orleans, or Orleans, a suburb in uh, Ottawa. Look at this flat black econ line over here. Keep driving there, buddy. Buddy boy. Anyway, let's go this way, because like I said, I didn't want to go too far. Boy, it's amazing how many people I see running and jogging lately. It's it's really impressive, because the only time I've ever seen that, actually, was when I was in fucking Vancouver with my brother in Victoria, B.C. in 1992. And people would jog like crazy, like mad during lunch hour, you know? I mean, uh... It's just amazing. See, that's again, that's a positive side of the pandemic. There's not really any positives, but there's always positive to something, usually. You know, with, of course, the exceptions of, uh, you know, Saddam Hussein, Adolf Hitler, Pinochet, Donald Trump, 
you know, hey, Donald Trump, I mean, look, I even have a friend who's American. Hey, Dave, I mean, you know, he loves, he thinks he's doing a great job. Hey, whatever, man, you're an American. I'm not. But I just, I think like a lot of people, this is just, uh, even especially with this pandemic, I think he's a fucking asshole, as usual, and he's a shrewd uh, New York businessman. So there you want my fucking political opinion? There it is, you know, and I think Tr Trudeau is a saint compared to that man. And I'm glad I voted for Trudeau, and I'm proud to be a Canadian, Quebecois, Montréalais, Montrealer, Quebecer. Dig it? Check this out, man. My landlord took me here one time. He wanted to get, uh, I think it was a gasket or a seal for uh, the, the, the faucet in my kitchen. But it looks like a church. Look at the windows, eh? Typical. Yeah, I heard that. I heard that siren. It's kind of like a squealy siren. Probably a siren uh, to, to warn people to stay away after five people or more because people are fucking stupid. And ignorance is stupidity. Goes both ways, a sit that neck. And you know what? Now that I think of it, I'm gonna go get a Timmy's coffee. I'm gonna take you for a little walk here on the Ontario. Right here on the Rue. Uh, what street am I on again? I already figured out. Oh, yeah, Arlia. That's what I thought it was. It's an electric bike. That guy is a moving fucking target. It's all black. The bike is black. Should even be legal, in my opinion. See, if I was. See, if that was like a government official and shit, that would, that would not exist. At least the guy's got fucking chrome and aluminum on there. Not like that idiot I saw yesterday. There's absolutely nothing. There's no contrast in the bike. Zero safety whatsoever at all. Fuck all. Guy, you know, I mean... Anyway, it's just logic. I think personally, you know, like I might not be... I might not be the smartest guy in the world, you know? I'm not richest, that's for sure. Or even the best looking. But I like to think like most people, as you age, the point of living... The more you live is the smarter you get and especially learning from your mistakes and always learning stuff all the time you know like today i actually ordered some pot online how do you like that and by the way there used to be a, a train spur right here oh man he's not popping away oh no he's up there look at that i just saw the cop car up there is he responding Yeah, it's not unusual to hear a lot of responses around here. It is after the uh, first of the month there. It's April 5th. That's when people get their checks, you know, welfare checks. So, even a paramedic uh, that I've never met, unfortunately, he told me, he confirmed it. It's true, they're usually they're busier, you know. And it's not hard to fucking figure that out why. I mean, if you can't figure that out why, well, you know. Hey, I used to be young too, you know what I mean? Like, fuck, uh, what the hell did I know how the world work at 22 years old age or whatever? It was a fucking idiot. It was a bump on a log. Probably like this guy here, you know? But as they say, ignorance is bliss. But anyway, like I was trying to say, that used to be a train spur, a cider track that veered off the main line where the fucking train yard, the CP train yard is down there, west of here. And I actually saw a video recently that blew my mind that actually showed that. They're actually like a camera crew is riding in the front of a locomotive. I, well, I don't know where, a train car or whatever. And they're going through here. Blew my mind. And at Pinaf uh, Boulevard over there, there was a crossing there. The fucking track actually crossed there. And the, the train's crossing the fucking track. There's bells and the bars and everything. And there's even a fucking uh, a CTCM or STCM, whatever, new look bus uh, there. Imagine that. Isn't that something? <laughs> love those old school awnings. I'd like to do a painting one day with a building or a house with those kind of things. Those kinds of awnings. I think, I don't know, I think they're neat. There's very, that time, you know, very period 40s, 50s, 60s, I guess. Uh, yeah, Ugh, look at this gibberish. Gibberish. Oh, horrible. Horrible. Hey, anything, any good junk in here? Doesn't look like it, eh? Oh, crap. Yeah, Montreal, if we're known for one of many cool things, it's murals. We got tons of murals. It makes me proud to be a Montrealer. It's fantastic. Now we're at the Rue Ontario. I'm going to try to stay away from people there because this is where there's a lot of people out. And, but it wasn't a nice day until now, so most people are inside, which is good. Compared to yesterday, holy fuck, there was people all over the place yesterday. My God. I got off at Frontenac Metro Station. I couldn't believe there was like nobody in the metro. I get out on Rue Ontario, there's everybody walking around, their friends, their family, their kids, their stroller. Holy shit, man. I've been here before. Pet supply store, Chico, Chico, Chico. I've been here too. Looks like it's open for business, for takeout. 
Yeah, of course, still doing some work, work here on the streets of work. Work over here, work. They're working. Don't worry, I'm not worried about uh, this taking a long time because I got another battery A and B. I mean, fuck. Uh, how much other stuff I'm gonna find? I'm gonna film, you know? Ooh, I like that cloud. It almost looks like a storm cell forming right, right there where. Yeah, cool. Coolness! Church bells ringing. It is... Oh, by the way, of course. Stupid me, it's Bourbonnière. Bourbonnière. Yeah, that reminds me of that 50s song there, classic. Church bells may ring, church bells may ring. I just walked by a pharmacy as a fucking security guard. Sign of the times. There's my grocery store I go to usually. Which I think may be closed today. Because uh, the government ordered a lot of uh, non-essential places to be closed today. Actually, no, but it is essential. I don't know, fuck. Whatever. Anyway, I'm tired of filming this. I'm going to stop this right over here. Right here by Place Valois, where people gather and and uh, shoot the shit. And uh, usually, like you said, you imagine there's more people, but it was a crappy day. And uh, people aren't allowed to get together too much together anymore. And uh, me, it doesn't matter. I don't really have any friends. So, uh, yeah, whatever. Welcome to my fucking loner world. What a beautiful dog. Look at that. A St. Bernard. All he's missing is the keg that would go underneath for that commercial there, that TV. Uh, what was that commercial? Neo Citroën? Eh, you see that, sir? Oh, is that so, eh? Oh, yeah, he... Even the gentleman was saying to him, to the, to the owner, I said, that's all that's missing is the little keg that went under the dog's collar. That... Hey, buddy. Man, that's a big dog. Holy fuck. Bonne soirée, les gars. Salut. Don't get me wrong. I love kitty cats, but I'd like to I'd like to have a dog, you know? I mean, uh, but the thing with the dog is you have to walk it all the time, and it smells fun. Jesus, fuck. I got a neighbor living in the building next to mine I've never met, and I smell their fucking old musty dog often when I have the fucking windows open. Ah, uh, alas, the perils of living in the city. You see, I have all this convenience, you know, and uh, of many things. Like, I want to get a Timmy's a coffee, like bringing you content, even though I feel like right lately I'm stuck in a fucking island here, in a sense. But, uh, you know, it's charming. The charme, huh? Again, the awning is a nice touch. Oh, I used to come here sometimes, eh, sometimes, rarely, rarely. Everything's fucking closed, anyway. What the What was that? Is that fireworks? Gunshots? Oh boy, I don't know what that was. Not normal, it's a Sunday. Bet you weren't expected to see all this fucking unprecedented uh, road work, eh? Seriously. Okay guys, I'm fed up now, so I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, take care, adios uh, muchachos, and uh, take care, and uh, hasta luego. And I'm not surprised that Corolla's parked there, because these cars are driven people who are the worst drivers in the world. That's nice. So take care and uh, stay tuned for more. As long as I got legs and arms, I'm going to keep moving along and do my funky thing and bringing you more out of a different perspective. Salut la visite.